All right, everybody, welcome back. I got another video that makes two this week. I got a whole bunch of creepy ones. If you enjoyed the video, please click that like button and uh, let's get right into it. There's literally a station on the TV. Go to it. And it's just a toilet. It's a fucking camera pointed at a toilet. And there's no sound. It hasn't moved in what, 30 minutes? The Devil Wears Prada. There's no way that that plays on Bravo. That's just this blue toilet. That's it. It's not our toilet. I'll be honest, every time I stay in a hotel, we always check for cameras. One comment, scan for devices in every room you go on using an app called Fing, F-I-N-G. Check that out. Humans who turned themselves into animals. Jocelyn Wildenstein wanted to look like a cat. And now looks like this. Dennis Abner wanted to look like a tiger. And now looks like this. Eva Tiamat Medusa wanted to look like a dragon. And now looks like this. Toko Sam wanted to look like a dog. And now looks like this. Ted Richards wanted to look like a parrot. And now looks like this. Toru Ada wanted to look like a wolf. And now looks like this. That is the worst fucking thing I've ever seen. I'm not talking about all those weird people. That goddamn intro. Oh. Oh, I'm going to fucking throw up. We just got back inside the house. I was putting my daughter on the bus. And I came in. Nobody else is here. And I'm hearing something on our basement stair. Right there. I'm going to check it out. It's done. Hello? <laughs> you guys have the potential to make something good, then you f*** it up. People who married object. Mario Marcio. Marries a hamburger. I don't even want to know what he did with that hamburger on the honeymoon. Mm-mm. Nope. Aaron Chervenek marries his phone. Scaring people with my Aztec death whistle. Maybe not though. Like, what in the f***?
please tell me this is a horror game that's coming out. Someone let me know. Car seat now. And let's see what his response is. Yeah, well, come on, buddy. How's your day? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. You gonna get in your car seat? <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. So there's this. No way. You're done. So there's this. Done. Explore. Huh? What? What? What is that? What the fuck? That was not there last nah, night. No, that was shit wasn't there last night. We pulled up here. I come over here and set up this solar thing last night. You ain't you ain't do that. Holy shit. He 100% did it. Come on. I mean, that's the type of shit I would do. Babe, what are you looking at? Wait, what are you, what are you look? Oh my gosh. Do you not see that? Oh my gosh. Rewatch this video. Do you not see that right there? Oh my gosh. This guy's like, do you see that? Do you see that? Do you see that? No, nobody saw shit. You pointed at everything. There's nothing out there. Okay, all jokes aside, Appalachia really does have the scariest shit. Like, did you know there's a plot of land in Appalachia that is so haunted? They have a plaque commemorating getting rid of the demon. And I only know about it because I did so much research for this week's episode, but I literally can't sleep now. So this ill-proportioned man is Adam Livingston. In the 1700s, he was tormented by a poltergeist in his home after he buried a stranger in an unmarked grave on his property. I mean, what did you think was going to happen? Legend has it that one night in West Virginia, a traveling stranger came to Adam's place and told him that he was dying. He asked for a priest to be fetched for his last rites, but Adam wouldn't go get one. AKA, his wife was like, please don't leave me alone with this man. So the stranger died, but Adam didn't even know his name, so he just buried him in an unmarked grave in the back of his yard and got back to work. And that's when it just went full conjuring in his home. He came outside to see that his chickens had randomly been beheaded. Adam said at night it sounded like there was a horse upstairs, like that's how loud the stomping was. But one night Adam has a dream and in the dream he thinks he sees the man that can help him. And the haunting stopped after he went and got this man who ended up being a Catholic priest like the stranger wanted. They blessed the grave and if you visit you can see where they marked his burial site. For more Appalachian horror check out this week's episode. If you just show up at my house and be like, I need some place to bury me. I'm not going to bury you in my yard. I'm going to throw you in a dumpster behind a Walmart. Get the fuck out of here. And then you haunt me? Deandra, that, that is not my future. I'm not going to be buried in a grave. When I'm dead, just throw me in the trash. Happy Feet is a horror movie. First of all, the whole atmosphere of this movie disturbs me. It has the scene with a leopard seal trying to kill Mumble, which starts off with a legitimate jump scare. I mean, just look at this. And don't forget about the killer whale scene, which combines two of my greatest irrational fears, dark bodies of water and objects floating in water. What kind of sick bastard tried to sell this as a kid's film? Well, I mean, if you look at it that way, that was a good jump scare in the beginning though. Dad, I found the scariest video on the dark web. Is it a skinwalker? No, but it's 100% real. Okay, are you ready? Just be warned. That's literally how it is trying to find creepy videos. Obviously didn't turn the camera enough. It's a good thing a lot of these criminals are stupid. Can I help you people? Ah, get away from me, I'm pulling the cops. What would I do? Hmm. All right, and if you stuck around to the end, you're amazing. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know down below, and I will see you all next week.